Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day and good morning, at least for me. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am wearing a sweater. It's definitely the time of the year now. Um, I'll talk more about that later on in this video. But I, like I said in my last one that I wanted to do kind of like just a, an update on my life. So I figured I could start getting ready and just tell you all about it. So uh, if you're not ready, you can get ready with me. So if there's nothing else for me to say, then let's get started. So something that I've been doing at the moment is just doing a minimal makeup right now because I just haven't been going out as much. So I just figured I will just make it simple in this sense. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So what I'm gonna basically be doing is just putting on a bit of primer just to keep my um, concealer, what I've, I've kind of been using, I use the Nude Sticks Nude Fix Cream Concealer. That's kind of what I've been using kind of as my foundation, but just kind of more in the center of my face. Like I said, I've kind of just been doing more of a minimal look, just trying to do a very simple and easy look at the moment, just because I know, like I said, we're not going out and doing much. What's been going on with me? So, um, we did take a trip to Park City, like we said, and it was kind of in a place where it was, it was like as if we were home, almost in a sense. And uh, we had a really nice area that we got to stay at. I told you that my husband unfortunately got like a migraine the day that we were, were going to plan to go out and do some stuff. So we had to kind of like basically stay home the rest of the time. My daughter was just amazing the whole time we were that whole time we were there, and um, she loved sleeping in a big bed or queen size, but it was to her like the best thing ever, and um, she was just so good. She wanted to take a nap. At another place, you know, like on vacation in not her own bed, just we were just so surprised, pleasantly surprised how well and how good she was in that that bed there. Um, the best. OK, as a parent, this is like the thing we have to deal with, with the kid is potty training. I mean, make sure they go number one and number two in the toilet with her. She already had number one nailed down. Just solid. She's good. The uh, number two was just the big learning curve for her, and we basically stopped putting diapers on her. She's three and a half, and um, we just wanted her to, you know, start going in the toilet. And she was just having accidents after accidents, and you know, we kind of just, in order for her to realize that she needed to go there, um, we had to just take away the diapers and just let her experience the discomfort as awful as it sounds oh my gosh we had, we had to do so much laundry <laughs> with her but that was the only way for her to recognize that she needed to go in another place so learning curve oh my gosh i think the breakthrough happened while we were there because she got up on her own she didn't tell us she went to the bathroom by herself and she went by herself I went to go up and check on her at the same time, just unknowingly. And she was there and it was just amazing. Oh my gosh, as a parent, that's just like the biggest, like great thing. So she has not been using diapers. Um, she's had like zero accidents for several weeks now. So it's safe to say she's fully potty trained. Um, she's now just going on her own to the bathroom to use it. She still needs help cleaning herself and washing her hands. That's still, you know, another thing that we're still working on. But for the most part, she knows, like, she understands her body. So that's, like, the biggest, greatest thing. And I know I've been talking about this for the last five, ten minutes, or the last few little bit, and... I'm sorry, I'm just so excited <laughs> that I don't have to do this anymore. No, no more diapers. So we're good on that. So uh, now, you know, she's she's doing great. She's doing awesome. She hasn't had issues or anything like that. 
I'm using kind of a corrector on my face now, the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Peach. And she is just amazing. Um, so going back to the trip, we, you know, we, as a thank you, we've kind of just, we cleaned the, the, basically a condo that we stayed in a town home in a sense. And to kind of thank them for letting us stay there. And I think my husband kind of overexerted himself because, you know, he was sweating and moving and everything and didn't, I'm, I'm thinking based on what happened next, this is why I think it happened. Um, you know, he was doing all this stuff and trying to take care of getting it nice and clean to show our appreciation. And I, I don't think he drank enough water, um, with that because we came back Sunday night and he was fine Monday and then Monday afternoon, evening, nighttime, he started to feel sick and his body was just having a difficult time controlling its temperature. So he kept getting a fever and then it'd go down and he'd get the fever again and it'd go down. And it was just this constant up and down battle. And our first thought was, oh no, he's contracted COVID and we're going to get it too. That's just how it was going to be. We, that's kind of what we were thinking. And his just temperature just would not stabilize. And it was getting kind of scary that he was just constantly sick and it wasn't getting better. And I was trying really hard not to freak out and not worry about, you know, what could happen, the, the, the worst that it could happen. Because the chances of that are, are very low. That does not mean, though, that we shouldn't be cautious. Um, I just... It was just scary and the guy just couldn't stay stable and so he kept getting hot and cold and hot and cold and his body was just reacting so negatively and we were getting to the point where we realized we had to go to the ER to take care of this because he was just so it was just so bad and unfortunately my daughter was still we had just put her, she'd already been asleep for a while but the only way that we we're going to take him to the ER is I wake up my daughter and the three of us go and I drop him off there. So we went at almost like one o'clock in the morning. He had been fighting this for at least two or three hours, just trying to be normal. And it just wasn't working. And I, yeah, nothing was just working at all. And so, you know, we had to go there. I dropped him off. I couldn't leave him. He couldn't stay there with him because it could have been basically COVID or, we, we, or it could be, we didn't know. Um, so we just, I had to just leave him and I'm trying to find out what's going on. And, um, he had like a kind of like a televisit, I should say, sorry, backing up. He had a televisit with the, with the doctor and he said, they he explained the symptoms and they said, well, it could be, we don't know. The only way to know is to get tested. So, you know, he was planning to go, um, you know, the next day, but it just got so bad that he, he couldn't, he couldn't wait. So he had to go to the ER. So we went there. Um, and of course, throughout everything, he forgets his phone. So <laughs> I had to leave my number with a nurse and they called me at like seven in the morning and they said, he's stable now. He's fine. You can come get him. So <laughs> my poor daughter, I had to get her up super early again. I had to get up, drive us to the, the hospital to go pick up my husband. He's fine at that time. Um, but it, it was just like this whole scary experience because we, we had no idea what was going on. It was just so random. And he explained to me that while they were checking him in, they recognized that he was just so dehydrated. There was just no water in him. And I think 
because he did not drink enough during our trip. I think in some way his body was trying to deal with some kind of infection. Um, and it was just super bad. Like it got really bad at that time. My daughter and I never got sick. We were fine. But, you know, he had to deal with this, trying to uh, deal with all of the, the symptoms and everything that was going on. So they said, he told me they had pumped like four bags of fluid in him just to get him to be hydrated again. And they gave him antibiotics and they just watched him basically for the, the those few hours that he was there. Um, got him, brought him home. He had to do a couple days of just trying to recuperate and everything. And I, just so scary. Everything that happened. Thankfully, he, he's doing a lot better. He's doing a lot uh, well. It's just, uh, it's just so scary. Everything that happened. So there, there was that. <sighs> So because of that, I uh, just, I, I was trying to catch up on my own sleep. Oh yeah. Uh, going back to the potty training thing. <laughs> the other thing too with her is because she now recognizes her body, I'm actually now using another concealer. It's a light, it's more of a lighter shade. I'm using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer in the shade 210 Nude Beige. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes to kind of light in that area a bit. Anyway, so with my daughter now potty trained, which is good. The thing now is that she's waking up various times of the night to need my assistance <laughs> to help her go to the bathroom. So I'm kind of like waking up. I could wake up like at two or three or six or seven and just, you know, <laughs> anxiety now of like, when am I getting up <laughs> to take care of her? And, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of also been another thing too. So I've been just dealing with a lot of new, in a sense, sleep schedule. So that's been great. Halloween just passed. We didn't do anything. We didn't have my daughter dress up. We didn't pass out any candy. Uh, we chose not to. Most of the people, hardly anyone came to our door and those that did, did not have a mask on and, um, they didn't do any social distancing. We just felt like we should just not do anything like that. Um, so we had our own time just here at home by ourselves. So all we did was we just got pizza from Papa Murphy's, that pumpkin one, and we just had candy and we watched some movies and we just hung out. We didn't do anything. We didn't try to. My daughter, she she hasn't really had the chance to trick or treat yet. And the one time we did, she didn't quite understand it. She was still too young to know what it was like or what it was. So we figured this year she's not gonna miss it either. She still doesn't know what it is. And, you know, it's, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I figured next year, hopefully with a vaccine, when a vaccine, let me rephrase that, when a vaccine does come out, um, we'll then, you know, start introducing her to trick or treating and taking her door to door. And I think by then she will appreciate it a lot more. She's three right now. So just, so she doesn't quite know what all that is. I will say this, giving her a lot of candy Halloween night was a big mistake. <laughs> oh my goodness. She took forever to stay asleep, to go to bed, to stay in her room. Oh my gosh. She kept coming up. It was or getting out of her room and she kept wandering around the, in the house that night. And it was just, oh my gosh. It was just <laughs> such a hard night. Oh. Uh, yeah. So we rarely give her candy. So the fact that she just had the hardest time just staying in her room was just like a huge mistake for us but we we had no idea that she would do this and that she would just 
Oh my gosh, it was terrible. Anyway, so we, I mean, like I said, we, we hardly give her candy, any candy, hardly any sugar. She gets plenty of sugar in her own diet just by, you know, her breakfast or whatever she does. So I'm not, she's not missing out. She, she gets sugar where she needs it and, and that's it. And we finished off the candy, so that's done with. <laughs> but my goodness, that kid. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else? What else has been going on? We did get our first snowfall in, uh, yesterday and that was exciting. Um, my daughter, she kept calling, she kept saying snowman, snowman, there's snowman out there. And so we had to keep correcting her. No, honey, it's snowing. Um, <laughs> she just, she watches Frozen so much. So to her, that's like snowman Olaf but no kid it's snowing oh, I'm doing my brows now using the Tarte DIY brow big ego DIY brow pen and I really like this pen a lot sorry I can't talk and do my brows at the same time <laughs> so we're gonna get back to that in a sec but what else has been going on okay so there's my brows We did put up our Christmas tree. I know it's early and I know it's before Thanksgiving, but really what has been normal this whole year. And my daughter who loves Christmas and loves trees. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> she goes nuts in the stores whenever we go to, you know, like Target or Walmart or any place where they're, they have Christmas trees or decorations up. She goes nuts. She's dancing, she's singing, she's playing with everything, she's touching it all. So, of course, you know, we bought a Christmas tree during Prime Days and we put it up for her and she's been singing and dancing and she keeps moving the ornaments around <laughs> and playing with them. They, um, they don't, they're shatterproof, so, you know, it's fine, but it's just, it's adorable, it's funny, and quite, quite honestly, why not? Okay, so I'm going to put on some blush and highlighter. I've kind of just, like I said, I've been doing a minimal look, so I haven't really been using bronzer that much or anything like that. So I'm actually going to be using the e.l.f. Bite Size um, blush, and bron blush and Highlighter Duo. I know how to speak words. And I'm going to be using Watermelon. So it's these two colors here. And I've been trying them out, and they're not too... They're not terrible I, I think they're fine I think the pigmentation can be a little bit more honestly but I mean like for what I'm doing right now like I said I'm kind of just been doing more of a minimal look so I'm just uh let's see what else what else has been going on with this my husband started school and he just took his first test and he is now on his way <laughs> he's doing an online school so he's doing that and uh yeah he's kind of just been trying to get back in that he's been dealing with a lot of obstacles trying to get himself back in there and he, he's doing great he loves it he's very excited to be back in there finish all that stuff so i'm going to be using the uh sephora animal eyes um eyeshadow palette this thing is so good it's super nice I mean, it's 10 bucks, I think. <laughs> it's super good though. Um, and I, I honestly, I've just, minimal look again. I've kind of just been using one or two shadows, quite honestly. Uh, this instance, I'm probably going to be mixing the two. And I'm just going to be just putting it all over my eyelid and calling it good. So far in my experience, I, I mean, I love both. I love both, but it's better than Ulta's eyeshadow palettes that I've been testing out. If you like Ulta's eyeshadows, go for it. You know, I'm not saying you don't do it. You know, if it works for you, it works for you. But I, I feel like testing both out, trying them both out. I feel like Sephora has done a really good job. Yeah, so I've actually, I, unfortunately these don't have names, so I can't even tell you. But I mixed this one here. And that one just to get just a basic color and that's 
pretty much all I've done and that's that's been it. Then I use a liner and I wanted it to kind of pop a little bit. I'm trying to find it, sorry. The liner I've actually been using is CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner and I've been using it in the shade Burgundy. Open, there we go. So it's been kind of like a deep red and that's been like the color I use on top of, you know, just using more of a neutral color eyeshadow. And that's kind of been the trend lately is just using just a single shadow. So that's kind of what I've been doing too. And then I'll just kind of use kind of like jewel tone type eyeliner. So that's kind of basically what I do. And like I said, I just keep it very minimal, very simple. Try to focus more on an eyeliner that tends to have a little bit more of a color to it, not just a brown or black, which I would normally gravitate to. I'm not getting out much, so when I do, I just look like I'm somewhat presentable. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara and we'll be set. Okay, and then lastly, I kinda, I, I haven't been using a lot of lip products other than, you know, lip balm or whatever, but I I will usually either use just, like I said, lip balm or I will use a gloss. Um, <laughs> I haven't been using a lot of lip products in general just because I have a mask on that I wear whenever I go out. Uh, what I'm using is Tropical Beauty in the shade Lolita. <clears throat> and I've, I just think, that I just can't get over how cool this is. Anyway. Um, if you do want to see a review of that prod, the, that line, um, I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can check that out yourself. And, um, basically this is, this is pretty much it. This is my look and I feel like it matches what I'm wearing almost. It's pretty cool. And I was not planning that at all. It just kind of happened anyway. <laughs> so, um, me, myself, I'm doing... I'm doing a lot better. I'm doing well. I'm keeping busy. I'm, like I said, my family has been just taking a lot of my time and a lot of my sleep. <laughs> and I just feel like I, I'm trying to just catch up on that and just try to get myself kind of back in routine and with life and everything like that. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to get back into stuff. Oh, also another thing, I am also putting together a blog. I'm trying to get my blog up and running. That should be coming out soon, hopefully before the end of the month. I will announce it when it is ready and what day I'm planning to have it fully launch. So you can go and check it out there. It's, <laughs> that's also, I meant to tell you that earlier. That's something I've also been working on and trying to get together and trying to get going. So I'm very excited about how that's going to work out and how that's going to go. So overall, that's been my life and what's been going on. I, I hope you're doing well and you're doing great. And, you know, let me know how you're doing, what's been going on. And uh, if you can relate as a parent stuff that's been going on with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope you're doing well and you're safe. I, I hope you are taking the time for you and dealing with hopefully managing and, you know, not um, letting stress and the pandemic get you. It's November. We made it. We're almost at the end. I hope you're doing well. I love you. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.